The next question is, what are the advantages and the risks for users and investors in crypto tokens? Um, the advantages are that uh, Bitcoin and other crypto tokens offer a um, completely new security model, one that uh, diversifies the risk by putting security in the hands of the end user. Now, we see in traditional financial services that when a centralized institution, like for example a large retailer or bank, is hacked, uh, that can lead to the compromise of millions and millions of credit cards or um, consumer identities and identifying information. Uh, so uh, the systems that we use today are not very friendly to privacy. Uh, Bitcoin allows consumers to protect uh, their privacy and to protect the security of their funds by spreading the security across all of the users. So to compromise millions of Bitcoin users, you have to attack millions of different computers. If uh, the Bitcoin protocol is used correctly with its decentralized nature, it decentralizes risk. And that's a tremendous opportunity. Now, for investors, on the other hand, uh, Bitcoin is a relatively risky investment at the moment. And, um, we also see that there are other risks. Uh, for example, in many cases, we see uh, companies trying to implement traditional banking models, centralized banking models, on top of Bitcoin. If you have an organization that takes control of user funds and takes control of the of the private keys that control the funds, uh, then what that organization is doing is they're building a bank. Uh, it's using Bitcoin, but it's still a bank. And if you have custodial control over users' money, that exposes those users to uh, tremendous risk. Um, essentially, Bitcoin and the blockchain technology allow users uh, to control their own money. But if you take that security model away uh, and you create something that looks more like a bank, uh, then that actually increases the risk for users, uh, both in terms of privacy and in terms of hacks, embezzlement, and fraud. And we saw that repeatedly with examples like MT Gox in Japan and other exchanges that centralized control.